Okay, what are common insect problems that I have in this car? In the past uh, four to five years that I've lived in my car, what are the common problems? Okay, I expected to have more problems with lice and fleas or something like that. And it really hasn't been the case. I mean, I've passed by, I've probably passed by hundreds of homes throughout the the western part of the United States that have needed to be fumigated, that are under fumigation for the the fleas and whatever bugs, whatever other bugs, termites were infesting those those uh, homes. And I expected to pick some kind of infestation up. And it doesn't seem to be the case. I haven't really noticed anything, at least, with all the food I've brought into this car and spilt all over the place. It just really hasn't been any clear uh, insect that's uh, really dominated. And it could be because I'm mobile. Maybe I'm moving around. Every so often I'll get a, a spider that'll make webs in, on my side mirrors, both sides. It's happened many, many, many times. <clears throat> they come and go. Every so often I'll get a an adventurous, one of those adventurous spiders that don't spin webs and, and they just wander around and, I guess, hunt the jumping spider. And I'm not quick to kill them because they don't seem like a big problem. My, my biggest problem has been at nighttime with mosquitoes. And it wasn't a problem until after I got my car rammed on the back uh, left rear. All right, there's this vent shaft that uh, got broke off <clears throat> as, as the metal got crumpled. And now it's a big hole. And I, I'm thinking that's probably where the mosquitoes are getting in. I need to put like... Some kind of a net. It took me a while to realize that's probably where they're getting in because I've had mos I've heard mosquitoes at night when I crack my window open when I open the door s ajar slightly all the all the doors even the the rear door and the mosquitoes were never getting in before and then all of a sudden the guy rams my car and and now they they've been getting in pretty easily and it's probably that one hole I, I'm hoping I, I haven't really effectively covered that that up yet but that hole is required I didn't know that hole is required uh, because when you shut your door uh, the air needs to be able to escape and that that hole is put back there uh, to, to serve as that air escape <clears throat> But other, other uh, you know, I haven't really gotten any ticks on me that I've noticed. Any any small blood-sucking, you know, uh, like bugs, um, wasps, or those hornets or whatever. They, they uh, will inspect my car at times, but never really become a big problem. I've never, you know, you see pictures of, of uh, people who have, who've had a... Uh, bee infestation that just instantly happens in their in their car in in a wheel well or near the engine or something. But I've, I've never had I never had that type of infestation. It's it's been it's been pretty been pretty clean with all the attraction that I would have with the smells from the food I have in here and stuff. It's it's been pretty good, and it's it's uh, been an advantage of mine to, to be sleeping in here because there's a lot of critters that like to rustle around at night and I'll instantly hear it it'll instantly wake me up okay um, I did I did have two mice in my car at one time but I believe that that was put in my car as some kind of practical joke and they chewed up quite a bit and and caused all kinds of noises I, I heard I mean I heard them in immediately two mice that got in my car they just that's never happened before. It's never happened since. I, I'm assuming it was a practical joke uh, from some some people early on, many about four, maybe four years ago. So, so that's that's not really a case. I did hear one time uh, a little animal crawled into my like the engine part and made a kind of a rustling noise. That was that was. Uh, yeah, that was a few years ago. All I did was move my car and the noise, and and, and I just kind of moved my car 
to the next parking spot over and the noise went away. I guess. Mm -hmm. well, they do. You need more do not touch signs, maybe. Oh, well, that doesn't. People it doesn't. Just ignore what it's yeah, they reach around those signs. Mm -hmm. I think this is a miner's cap. Oh. So uh, they're wow. probably. Probably that tag dates from then, so they're probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I, I thought, it was, I found it interesting how like pioneers had put the the butter. The... Yeah, it's a great uh, replica. I would call yeah, because the trains the trains use their own their steam. It's amazing how many people dig in the trash cans. <clears throat> Every city. Woods and ferns. That's how you describe an area like this. They go hand in hand. Parks around Fortuna, you could see that there were lumberjacks that came through this area and chopped down the biggest. Yeah, all throughout, there were some massive trees that were chopped down a long time ago. I got some growth. In fact, you can see the divots in this one from the, the planks that the lumberjacks stood on. I'm kind of amazed how a lot of these have like burnt inside, but you don't really see much burning. Well, there's a little bit of burning on the outside. But did the forest fire go through here after the lumberjacks uh, shot them down? Look at that, you can just walk right through this one. It's pretty, pretty immense. And I'm guessing the forest fire made it possible to walk, that, walk through that. A little kid could go inside this one, this massive one, and it's burnt out hollow. In fact, it is a bit of a shelter for, I could fit in there. It'd be a little bit of a shelter for a homeless person. Oh man, okay. It's like a teepee tent, a large teepee tent. They even got a seat. You could just sit down and hang out. I think this divot right here was uh, something for the, the lumberjacks to stand on so they could chop at a higher elevation, a few feet higher, because they didn't want to chop at the ground level. It's too thick for them. Pretty amazing what used to be here. And then you can clearly see the difference between an old growth on the right that's chopped down and then a little new growth that came up after it. So that thing probably was chopped a, a good hundred years ago. Like this one, the old growth on the right with a new growth right next to it. Possibly, unless, unless if it was a part of, see there's old growth in the center of of them unless if they were doing some kind of forest management but it looks the old growth looks so old and there's indentations from potential lumberjacks common theme for these old growth you could just see the divots on the sides about the same height for all of these there's divots on that one and then it's twisting around over here 
This one should have divots somewhere. It looks like kind of a divot. Yeah. Gotta get around the second grow. Yeah, there's a divot. Only one divot? I guess so. I don't know what else they'd use to elevate themselves. You got all kinds of evidence of these chopped down trees. Just massive stumps. Huge stumps. 